Hello folks, welcome to this episode of Cooking with Kids. Today we're going to make tuna pea pasta. For this recipe, you will need two cups of small shell pasta, a can of tuna, a can of peas, half a cup of mayonnaise, one teaspoon of dill, one teaspoon of mustard, and you will need a pot, a bowl, a one teaspoon measuring spoon, and a half a cup measuring spoon. Let's get started. First off, we're going to add four cups of water to our pot. This holds two cups of water, so I'm going to use it two times, because two plus two equals four. Turn on your stove and wait for the water to come to a boil. You'll know it's boiling because you'll see steam coming up the top and bubbles rising through the water. Water is boiling when it reaches 100 degrees Celsius, and it starts turning into steam. There we go, my water is boiled, so I'm going to add in my pasta. I put in two cups of small shell pasta. It will take about 10 minutes to cook, so while the pasta is cooking, we're going to make the sauce. Now that I've gathered all of my materials, we can start to combine them. So we need half a cup of mayonnaise. My cup measure doesn't fit inside, so I have to pour the mayonnaise into the cup measure. And next we need one teaspoon of dried dill. teaspoon of mustard, and your can of tuna. Now, I thought this was going to be one of the pop tops, but it wasn't, so I had to find my can opener to open up my can of tuna. Have you used a can opener before? It can be tricky. Strain the liquid out, you just keep the lid on a little bit, and pour out the liquid and keep all of that good tuna in the can. Next you pour it out into your mixture. Finally, add the peas. I decided to just use half a can of these peas because I felt like one can would be a little too overpowering. So just use about half the can and you can save the other half for another meal. Mix all of that, those ingredients together until you have a nice creamy sauce. Set that aside as you'll use it later once your pasta is fully cooked. Alright friends, our pasta has cooked. There you can see it's cooked because it's nice and puffed up. And now it's time to strain the water out. So we pour all of the pasta and water into the strainer and then pour it back into the bowl and add your sauce. Then you're just going to mix it all up until it's nice and evenly distributed and then you're ready to serve. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoy your tuna pea pasta. It is a healthy and easy meal, great for weeknights or for lunches, and it's pretty budget friendly too. Here's the directions in case your grown-up needs some later. Thank you, bye now!